Hey guys, so we're headed back to Disney. You guys really enjoyed the Lunar Festival food reviews, so I thought it'd be fun to do more of those today. And on top of it, we're gonna have Jared review some of my favorite rides. Are you excited? I can't wait. <laughs> I'm super hungry, so I can't wait for uh, this first food review. Are we gonna do just regular food at Disneyland? We're doing regular food, sticking straight to Disneyland, no California Adventure today. So it might be just a fun surprise to figure out what we're gonna taste. Perfect. <laughs> All right, stick around guys and we'll see what we get into. <laughs> Oopsies. You could have just gone straight. Oh, can I? <laughs> Hello. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you. Woohoo, let's go. Let's get on some freaking rides. I feel like I'm on a ride already. I'm thinking we're gonna go to the Jolly Holiday. They got some Bibia sandwiches. Bibia. First stop, the bathroom. Always. <laughs> I'm holding it. Pro tip, park on the side next to the bathroom if you're like me. I got a baby bladder. <laughs> All right, we're in. Now let's get some food and then start going on some rides. We're first stop, Jolly Holiday Cafe. Donde esta el pediría? <laughs> I think I just got a bug up my nose. <laughs> so we are here midst parade. So it's a little bit loud. But it's a what little did, crazy. It's a little nutty. <laughs> but what's, It took forever to find a, t a table. <laughs> forever. This has been quite the experience and I am getting over a cold. I mean, both of us kind of are, so. It's been it's been a lot. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. He's not contagious to anybody. Don't don't freak out. I'm not a super spreader by any means. No. And unfortunately, I'm a very picky eater and we were not able to customize the birria at all. I think I'm still gonna order it and I'm still gonna take a bite out of it because I'm curious because it looks so good. Maybe do a mobile order. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Pro tip, mobile <laughs> order. So I got the roast beef sandwich. That was the only thing that they were actually able to modify for me. Yes, and then I just got a cranberry pecan salad that has some kind of, it looks like a strawberry vinaigrette. It looks like a pink sauce. Shout out to <laughs> Chef P or uh, whatever her name is that's doing that. It just sounded really good on like such a summery day, you know, even though it's February. It's hot, I'm sweating. <laughs> this is the first time I've been to Disneyland where I'm at risk of a sunburn and possible chaffage, I'm not so, gonna lie. keep watching, maybe we'll end up buying him a hat. We'll see, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, let's eat this food. Yes. Maybe it's not good the first thing I eat with a kettle chip. <laughs> So we finished the first portion of this food review, which was the roast beef and cheese sandwich, and you yes. got the cranberry almond pecan salad. Salad. salad, yeah. So what were your thoughts on the salad? I mean, it was a simple salad, but delicious. You can't ever go wrong with that. And I love pecan in my salad. What was the dressing like? I'm very curious. It did taste like a strawberry vinaigrette. I really liked it. I think if it went really well with the cheese, the feta cheese that was on the salad, I give it a thumbs up. I would say that it's really not due to their baking or anything like that of the sandwich, but cheese and meat only felt a little dry. Well, that's what happens because the bread was like a, it's like a French bread, right? Yes. Like a French roll. So I think it was maybe too much bread. I don't think I could have done it without a drink to accompany it with. I think I would have dried <laughs> myself out. Well, with that being said, let's get to the main courses, the uh, the desserts. And then we will have the birria. Oh. Yeah, we did end up ordering that, so that will come out shortly. Let's tell them what we got. Jared ordered these, by the way. Cherry vanilla macaroon. Sandy was a little disappointed because they do have one that looks like Mickey Mouse. Yeah, it looks delicious. However, it's raspberry, and raspberry seems to be the most subtle fruit, in my opinion, and I felt like I wanted a little bit more of a pop than that. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do next time is I'm gonna order the food and Jared is gonna wait for the table. However, let's see if I can <laughs> redeem myself with the second option. This one's gonna be trickier to show to the camera, but this is gonna be a s'more tart. All right, let's taste these desserts, see how tasty they are. Are you just gonna bite into it? How about you bite into it first? Mmm, <laughs> it's really sweet. It's good, but it's 
I didn't realize that macaroons could break so easily. So I feel like I just like made a Hulk move and just smashed the whole cookie. You want me to hold your back microphone? No, it's okay. I got it's it. It's going to be a two-hander. Watch. Let's see. I'm pleasantly surprised with the amount of tart I'm receiving from mm. the cherry. I didn't know if I was going to be getting that artificial cherry flavor or more of a natural cherry flavor. This definitely has both, and I like that. Yeah, I think if you can see, there's like actual cherry chunks in it. Those are the cherry chunks right there, but it's really light. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is it, like a cream? It's the vanilla aspect of it. Mm. I like that it's a, it has a very fluffy texture. <laughs> all over your beard. <laughs> Ugh, did it shit all, over, shit all over this napkin? <laughs> I spilled my vinaigrette earlier. <laughs> oh, yuck. <laughs> This has become quite the messy experience. But here, I'm just gonna finish the rest in one bite. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. It is a little, I think for me personally, I don't think I would get it again because it is a, just a little too sweet for me. But with that being said, I think it is really good. So if you're into nice, sweet, tarty desserts, definitely get this one. I will say without a little bit of the vanilla to offset the cherry, yeah. it did have a little bit too much of a tart. It almost had like mm. a plain yogurt flavor without the vanilla and I don't like plain yogurt. I like to hear that you wouldn't get it again because that means if we get it again, more than likely I'll be able to eat it by myself. <laughs> would you get it again? I think I would get this again so far. What would you score this? I would give this as he just demolishes the last piece, guys. 7.3 out of 10. Wow. What would you give it? Um, I'd probably give it a 6.3. And what would you give the salad? I don't think we scored the actual oh, food. The salad, I would give it a 10. It was really good. I really liked it. A 10? It. Okay, I would only maybe give it an 8.5 only because it's a salad and it's simple. But it was really good. I would give the roast beef sandwich a 5.3. Ooh, I feel like you score it. Like you, I wish pretty it, rough. I wish they would have heated it up and allowed the cheese to possibly melt mm. a little bit or added like a cheese sauce. Again, obviously, I got everything taken off of it except for the meat and the cheese. So it's not necessarily fair, but I didn't really like it very much. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go get another fork so we can indulge the s'more tart. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Out of the two, this is the one that I felt I would enjoy more. So now I'm forgetting what I rated the macaroon. But if this is above an 8.5, it will be accurate to what I was assuming going in. All right, let's Here, take... I'm going to hold it steady for you. Ooh, much different texture than I thought going in. Oh, man. I'm already not liking this. <laughs> so the texture in the center, I thought it was going to be more of a pudding. Oh, and there's like a caramel. Everything about this right now is challenging. So there's caramel on the bottom. There is a chocolate paste. It's not necessarily like a mousse as I thought it was going to be. It's more of a fudge. And the crust around it, I don't know. It's a crust. <laughs> I don't know. It's a crust. I'm going to take a bite of the marshmallow. Okay, so I think I'm ready to grade this one and then we could just finish it. This has been a very challenging dessert to eat. Now let's just go ahead and grade it. What do you give it? I'm going to give it a 6.8. I like it better than the other dessert, but it is kind of a hassle to eat. The taste is good. It's just too much work, I think. Well, work aside though, because I think we're making it more challenging because we're filming. Let's say it was easy to eat. How would that affect the score? I'd probably go up to like 7.1. Okay, so for me, I was hoping for a little bit more of a well-rounded flavor where it feels like the chocolate fudge is extremely overpowering and very rich. I was hoping more or less for a myriad per se of flavors, and I'm not getting that. I'm really just getting a bunch of chocolate, which well, I know not the biggest fan. I got a lot of the caramel, which I think the caramel really balances off the chocolate with the marshmallow and with the actual crust. But I think if you don't have all of the four ingredients together, one of the ingredients always can overpower the other ones if you don't have all three together. So in that case, maybe they should give you an extra marshmallow. <laughs> that bite changes everything. <laughs> I feel like now that I got better mix of the ingredients, it's still rich on the fudge side. I believe it's a fudge. I'm going to give this a 7.6. Mm, that's a pretty high score. Not as high as I was hoping to give it. I was hoping that this one would be in the nines. However, not the worst s'more tart I've ever had. Possibly the only one I've ever had. I like it. So next we will go ahead and, well, I'm not going to try it, but you're going to try the bibia. Yeah. So we're going to wait a little bit and then get pick that up and then try the bibia and then go on some rides. This looks really good. So it has like the cheese and some like chili 
peppers, and they also give you a media sauce or soup with it so you can dunk it in. Okay, so I am not going to be trying this. This is going to be a Sandy solo mission. I'm just going to be narrating it. She's taking a bite. Mm. She said, mmm, are you going to dip it into the sauce at all or are you going to just go straight raw with it? First bite without the sauce, really good. This is like insanely delicious. You can taste the, the meat is really nice and tender. The cheese is like melted perfectly. And the peppers, you get like a tiny little kick. This is really, really good. Ooh, now let's get a dip. I'm going to just scoop this. And we would show you this sauce up close, however that could be hazardous. It just looks like a broth. Body language is telling me she's really enjoying this right now. If you ever come to Disneyland, you need to get this because with the soup or the sauce on it, it is so good. It does have like a bigger of a kick than I expected. I give this probably like a 10.5. Well, on a 1 to 10. Don't, let's not be goofy here. What is a it on 10, a 1 to 10? for sure. It's just a perfect combination of what I would want. Was it worth the wait? Yes, 100%. Okay, well now that we've done that bivia, let's go on a couple of rides. Let's do it. Okay, so what ride are we in line for? So we're in line for Thunder Mountain. It's one of my favorite rides because I feel like technically it's not a roller coaster, but it goes pretty fast and it's just so much fun. All right, midline review. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good about it. I've really been focusing on getting some awesome B-roll shots, which are going to be playing over us talking right now. <laughs> but I'm extremely excited. I feel like hearing people scream is always a good sign when you're next to a ride. That means it's thrilling. Yeah, I, I agree. I think seeing and hearing the ride go, I'm very excited. I haven't been on this ride in a while. My sisters don't really like going on this ride, so I'm excited to go on it. We're almost there. Let's do it. It's literally right there. <laughs> Holy moly, I'm so excited. We're doing this. Pull up on your lap bars, pull up on your lap bars. I'm very concerned over the lap bars. All right, I'm flipping this around. through the ride. I love this ride so much. A lot of it has been in darkness. <laughs> I think this part is out, all of it is outside. Okay, perfect. Oh. We're going up pretty high. All right. Commentary. So far, it's been a little bit sketchy filming this ride. However, I do feel as though we got some quality shots. So we have finished the ride. I give that an 8.7. <laughs> uh, like a 9, a 9, 9.3. That was very fun. I'm I not, love this. I'm very curious on how the footage is going to pan out uh, <laughs> as I'm editing. But by the time you see this, I will have already edited it and hopefully it's as cool as possible. <laughs> Let's go on again. All right, guys, so that was so much fun. We wanted to go on Indiana Jones, but it's saying it's 70 minutes. So it's a little long for us. So we're That's gonna- That's a long, <laughs> very long time. So we're gonna check out the Winnie the Pooh ride since it's kind of close by, and then we'll see how the ride is afterwards. How long is the wait for the Winnie the Pooh? 15 minutes. See, why can't all the rides be 15 minute <laughs> lines? That would be ideal. I mean, and it is a fun ride. I think you'll like it. 
I can't wait. I'm sure it's <laughs> thrilling. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Alright, we're about to go on to the Winnie the Pooh ride. This is such a cute ride and has really funky colors. This is the ride that Jared has not been on. And I feel like there wasn't even a line. We no. just kind of walked <laughs> right onto the ride. So that was pretty cool. I wish they could all be like that. I feel like they were, it rarely has a line. Is that a good thing? That's like a restaurant that never has anybody in it. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to Indiana Jones next. A quick ride review. I will say that I think in order for me to truly appreciate that ride, I would probably need to be on some sort of a psychedelic. <laughs> I think the whole thing is geared towards parents who want to take their kids on a ride, but they also want to trip out a little bit. You know what I mean? It, I mean, I will say that there's a lot of people that do say that, that it is a little trippy, but I think that's what makes it so much fun. And obviously I think it's a cool ride for parents who want to take their kids on like a quick ride and the parents might be on drugs, you know? I think that's <laughs> very cool. Not. So next we're going to Indiana Jones ride. It actually went down to 35 minutes. So we're gonna go to Indiana Jones and see how crazy it can get. Okay, so I realized that I did not give Winnie the Pooh an actual grading. So I'm gonna give Winnie the Pooh a 6.3. 6.3, what did you like about it? I mean, I like the trippiness of it. I mean, obviously it would be a lot cooler if I could explore the trippiness more. However, for the state of mind I'm in right now, it's gonna get a 6.3. Yeah, is there anything you didn't like? No, I mean, I wasn't expecting a whole lot from it. So I think from what I was expecting to what I got was perfect. I agree, I think I would probably give it 6.5. It's just like a very basic but cool ride. I think that it's just nice to kind of go on when everything is like way too long to wait for. There you go. So now we are in line for Indiana Jones. It's about a 30 minute wait. Yes. So what are you expecting going in? Because you've been on this ride more recently than me. It's really bumpy and the speed is perfect. I think it's like a little bit faster at some points than Thunder Mountain. So I'm pretty stoked about us going on this one. I can't wait. Let's do it. Yes. We're about to get on to the Jeep for Indiana Jones. We're coming after you, Indy. And we're off. Yes. And we stopped. <laughs> Seatbelt check. So this ride evidently is going to be very bumpy. So this is going to be another test of my endurance. Yes. If I could hold the camera. Are they asking gonna... us to wave our hands? Woo! We're going to test out the camera skills right now. Luckily, we got insurance on this camera. I'm going to hold on to you, okay? Now we'll lift the curtain of time. Your destiny now lies beyond the gates of So far, it's been a challenge to keep the camera steady at all. Oh no, we have a snake. There's a snake. You guys missed it. Sorry. But what is your thoughts so far on the ride? Give us a mid-ride review. Come on, talk to the mic. Talk to your mic. And this is crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this is a little box. Uh oh. We can't see what's ahead. It's okay. This is terrified. Stay out of trouble, will ya? 
You got it, Indy. Okay, guys. I think, are we done with the ride or no? We're done with the ride, yeah. That was pretty intense. You can't see us necessarily. But I literally was standing up in my seat. If the seatbelt would have snapped, I would have flown right off the ride, trying to maintain stability. I feel like I failed miserably, though. We'll see with the edit. Yes. Well, just know how bumpy it is. It was even crazier on the actual ride. Okay. Let's give Indiana Jones a ride review. Go ahead and start us off. What do you think? So I'm going to say it's an 8.8 .8 because it's so much more fun. They must have redone it because it was faster than I remembered, bumpier than I remembered, and had really cool graphics. I'm going to give this one an 8.7. It was very fun. I would say that I would love to go back on it without trying to film it because in order to film it, I pretty much had to stand up in the seat the whole time. <laughs> I had to stabilize my right arm where someone was sitting right next to me. I almost banged into him half of the time, but I'm very excited see how the footage came out. I agree. I think that even if you guys see how bumpy it is, I mean, you can't even imagine just being there. It's so crazy. Yes. So very fun. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go on your favorite ride today. Yes, the Runaway Railroad. But there's always next time. Definitely. As magical key holders, the one thing we can guarantee <laughs> is there's always going to be a next time. <laughs> Definitely. So let's go. Is this going to be the end of this vlog or what? It's going to be the end. We're going to head home to our pepperonis and then uh, we'll see you guys next time. Also, leave in the comment down below, what is your favorite Disneyland ride? If you guys haven't been to Disneyland, what ride are you anticipating on going on when you ever do get a chance to go? So if you've been here, your favorite ride. If you haven't been here, what ride would you want to go on? There you go. <laughs> There it is. All right. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Pull your camera out. Get your lens focused. Zoom in closely to capture the moments. The whole universe exists within your iris. Sacred information is embedded in your iris.